Hello everyone, I just got back home from running some errands, some groceries, and of course at Trader Joe's I also got a new plant. They always have plants there. So I'm going to show you guys my groceries for the week. And I have another plant back there. I also went to Trader Joe's. Well basically I ordered Whole Foods pickup and then I went into Trader Joe's to grab a few things. I haven't been there in a while. So I'm gonna show you guys everything. Let me go inside. It's really nice out today. It's also my birthday week. Look at this sky. All right, I have all the groceries set out. So I'm gonna go over what I got at Whole Foods first and then we'll go to Trader Joe's. So in no particular order, we just have some delicious gluten-free bread. This is the Udi's brand. Um, really, really good just for peanut butter and jelly is usually what I make with this. Um, just a quick little snack. We have some Hillary's spicy veggie meatless breakfast sausage. So I put this on my breakfast sandwich or I just have it with my eggs on the side. Gluten-free, plant-based, all the good stuff. I have a little frozen burrito to try. I've never tried the Whole Foods brand before. Um, again, everything here is not going to have any dairy in it. I do eat dairy-free. I don't eat gluten-free. Um, but I do some things like better gluten-free, it just tastes better to me. Um, we have some grain-free tortillas. And then we have some gluten-free, dairy-free pizza. Probably have this for my birthday weekend, that's why I got it. Um, super easy. I don't get this all the time, but definitely for my birthday weekend. Heck yes. So we have that, we have some dairy-free cheese. Um, this is what I make my grilled cheese sandwich with. Again, this is also what I use the grilled cheese for. We have some veggie pepperoni. I haven't tried this before, but I'll probably put on some pizza or some little flatbread pizzas. This protein's pretty good, so I'm excited to try it out. We have some dairy-free cream cheese. It's a new flavor, garden veggie. So I have that on my bagels. We have some grain-free lasagna sheets. I'm gonna be making some lasagna soon, so the recipe on here looks pretty good actually, I was looking at that. Some jalapeno hummus, you guys know hummus is just delicious. We have two cans of black beans here, I just eat beans uh, with my tacos. We have some tomato paste, again I'm gonna make some chili with this or some other recipe I had. Um, we have some pasta sauce. <clears throat> I usually get this one or the Rouse, bland, Rouse brand. This one's vegan, gluten-free. It was on sale, so try it out. We have some new Beefless Gardein, or not Beefless Gardein, Meatless Farm is the brand. But basically it's meat-free ground beef. I'm gonna have this for my tacos. I'm gonna put this in the freezer for now. We have two avocados, some diced red onion. This one we're using for my chili. I'm gonna make it either today or tomorrow. Have just oh so the we're going we're going into Trader Joe's now so this was from Trader Joe's we have some sockeye salmon here again I'll probably pop this into the freezer for now salad kit here peanut and crispy noodle gonna have that probably split into two two salads for the week we have some sorry guys my nose is running my allergies are driving me crazy all right we have some peeled garlic. I absolutely hate peeling garlic, so I love that Trader Joe's has this. We have some gluten-free hamburger buns with sesame seeds. Some arugula. My favorite greens ever. Put this on top of the pizzas as well. We have some spicy cashew butter dressing. Really limited ingredients, which is why I love it. It doesn't last very long, so I have to use this pretty quickly. I'll probably just put that on here with some avocado. We have some avocado oil spray for cooking. My favorite jalapeno sauce ever. It is vegan. And then we have some leeks. I don't know if you guys like leeks, but I like to put them, probably just gonna add, chop them up and add them to the chili. I just think they're kind of like an oniony taste, but a little bit different, really, really good. We have some of my favorite sauce from Trader Joe's. I can't even describe how it tastes, but it's like spicy, it's made with jalapenos. It's really, really good. I like to just dip different things in or put on top of some vegetables or potatoes. 
And then I have some roasted tomatillo salsa, my favorite kind of salsa. And I have some potatoes, I have red potatoes, yellow potatoes, just love having potatoes as a side with breakfast in the morning. We have some shaved Brussels sprouts, add these to my salads, or you can just put them on a sheet pan and toss with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. Have a quick little vegetable side, almost done. This is dangerous to buy because I love it so much. I could eat the whole bag in one sitting. Um, it's so, so good. If you could have a Trader Joe's, please, you gotta try this. Um, two packages of their gluten-free bagels. These are absolutely my favorite gluten-free bagels. They're so, so good and crunchy and delicious after you toast them. And last but not least, we have some tomatoes on the vine. We have some sweet peppers. I chop these up and just put them on stuff or dip them in that sauce is really good. <clears throat> and some refried black beans and some refried, or no, these are refried black beans. These are regular refried beans. I put these on my nachos <clears throat> with my tacos. All right, that's my grocery haul. I'm gonna put these away. Say hi. Say hi to YouTube. Of course. Hi, baby. Lucy's doing good, by the way. A little update for you guys. She's definitely put on a frack. You get out of her butt. Everyone get out of Lucy's butt. What's wrong with your butt? Why do you sniff it? But no, she's looking a lot better. She's put weight back on. And she's feeling great. Huh, baby? Yes. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Are you annoyed yet? Are you annoyed yet? Are you annoyed yet? Are you annoyed? Are you annoyed? For my birthday, I didn't open them yet. I'll show you how they sent it. This one. Look how pretty. Look how beautiful. Love the shape. I don't have any crystals this shape yet. So pretty. My crystal collection. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. eye it's to aid in emotional balance and when worn with that intent can enhance one's connection and personal power and will it is extremely grounding and centering and often helps soften stubbornness it can aid in clearing your perception and insight it has a masculine energy and healers say it helps the wear actualize intent in the areas of materialization of wants and needs super Pretty dark purple. I do have an amethyst. I have a raw amethyst. So this is like more of like a polished one. So this is Azurite. So we can a little thing. Another little heart here. This might be the prettiest one for last. This one is also it's heavier than the other ones. So this is gold pyrite. Not real gold, obviously. Oh, it feels so nice. This is gonna be great for meditation. These are all of my crystals right now. I need to get a better way to display, especially the bigger ones, because they're just sitting in here. This is one of my favorite ones. This is my Labradorite. It's not really focusing on it, but. This is just the coolest colors. It's harder to see on the camera than it is in person, but 
It like glows like that. It's so cool. Um, but anyway, these are the rest of my crystals. So I think what I'm going to do actually eventually is I'm going to get a new, this is eventually going to the curb or donated, but I'm getting a new shelving unit for over here. And it's going to have a bunch of open shelves. So I'll put my bigger crystals over there. And then this will be for all my smaller ones. And then I also have them like scattered throughout my house as well. So I'm just going to put these in here for now. And then I grab them when I go to meditate. I freaking love this one. I need to just put this in my pocket and carry it around with me. It's so pretty. I was worried you blow up my reputation. But I figured it's not on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way you're making me shiver, your hands on my silver, like you're pulling the trigger. Right? This very finger for people like them. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. But darling, oh, my, my, I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now. I'm like a golden crown, whirling high up in the sky. some of that workout such a great workout i absolutely did not want to work out today um it's my birthday tomorrow so i just wanted to get a really hard workout in today because tomorrow i'm gonna be relaxing I'm by the pool with friends all day so i might just do like a little cardio and abs in the morning that's it i hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far make sure you give it a thumbs up for me it helps my channel a lot especially now that i'm vlogging again my videos are probably not popping up anymore because i haven't been on youtube that much so do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Um, all right, I'm starving. I'm gonna go get some food. I'm just having a bad day today. <laughs> so I figured I would just take you guys through it. And I feel like I just usually wanna vlog on good days. I'm gonna show you guys a bad day. So basically, last night at two o'clock in the morning, my body decided, let's throw up everything. So it was not a good start to the morning. If you know, throwing up is not. It's not anything enjoyable and I haven't done it in a long time. It was horrible. It was one of those like, just keep throwing up, just keep throwing up. Then I laid on the bathroom floor. I was sweating after, too much information. Anyway, it was not a good morning. So I finally went back to sleep. I woke up at eight. Somehow I really did not sleep well at all. I was kind of just like, I felt way better after I threw up. I don't know why I threw up. I was going through what I ate yesterday. I don't think it's food poisoning. I ate at home yesterday. So I don't know, maybe something I ate was bad. I'm trying to figure out. Anyway, I'm making myself breakfast right now. So I'm gonna show you guys, just take you through the day. I have to go to the dentist later because I'm finally on my last week of my Invisalign. I just finished, so they're taking the little buttons off my teeth today. And uh, my skin is slowly getting there. I don't have any makeup on, I haven't even washed my face yet. So I'm looking real fresh and raw today. So yeah, that's, we're gonna get through this vlog. See what I eat we'll see what we get into I'm just determined to make the rest of today a good day otherwise from last night I've also just been feeling really run down so I don't know if I was getting sick and maybe now it's gone maybe I threw it up fingers crossed I don't know but I've just been feeling really like tired I'm also about to get my period so maybe I'm just PMSing I don't know anyway I'm not having the best day but we're gonna make it the best day my breakfast is ready I'm making an egg over here and then my bagel and I have a little meatless patty in the air fryer right now so I'm gonna grab that stuff make my sandwich and we're gonna make the best of the day I kind of want to make some fresh juice actually that would make me really happy right now always a key any sandwich So this is arugula. There we go. Beautiful. 
beautiful sandwich. I'm also going to put some red pepper flakes on here because you guys know. Alright, well I can't open this one with one hand, but a little bit of this on top. That's my breakfast. And I'm very excited because I haven't eaten anything since I threw up everything. So, wish me luck. Just got back from the dentist. I don't know if you can see. So basically they evened out my bottom teeth. I didn't show you guys the before picture. Um, but they also added a wire. I'm not gonna be able to put my camera back there. But a wire behind my teeth because basically she said people with really small mouths like me um, and just people have like a really narrow, a narrow area up here tend to, and I know this is true because my grandma and my mom both have crowding up here. So they basically they add the wire so everything stays nice and straight, and then I pick up my retainer in another two weeks. And then I'll have straight teeth forever, which is really exciting. I had braces when I was younger for two years and then didn't wear my retainer after. So my bottom ones did start to get crooked again, and I've had my Invisalign for nine weeks. So it was definitely worth it if you have considered doing it. You see, Ivy, can you get out of my car? We're not going anywhere. Come on, Ivy, come on, let's go, let's go, Ivy, come on, let's go, come on, out, let's go. Ready. Such a beautiful day today. Get over here. She's blooming in the tree. This is my outfit of the day. Just have some nice mom jeans on. These are my favorites. Um, I bought these. Pretty sure I got them actually off Poshmark from someone else, but they are. White Fox brand. Um, they're just super comfy and loose, especially at the bottom. I have my combat boots on and just a black bodysuit. Honestly, I feel really comfortable like this when I got to do chores and errands. Thanks for interrupting my video. Are you thirsty? This is a good segue into my plants over here. My tulips just finished blooming. A succulent that hasn't died yet. My fiddly fig. Don't eat. She keeps trying to eat this plant. So I'm gonna stop doing that. No eating the plants. No eating the plants. And then I have some new crystals here. I showed you guys those already. Hi. My other plants over here. My spider plant. My money tree. My Dracaena, so cute. She just had a new leaf come out. You can just sit over here. <clears throat> On my way back, I picked up a few little groceries from Whole Foods, my favorite orange juice. I have some potatoes for this week, some jasmine rice, and some, mac some macadamia milk. I try to switch up which ones I use between like um, macadamia, almond, oat, just so I get a variety in my diet. <laughs> to get a workout in um i'm gonna do some legs i also want to show you guys the brand new women's best stuff that launched this is the renew collection comes in five different colors so if you guys are interested in that check out 
the workout outfit during my workout and if you guys want to shop everything is going to be linked below you can use my link i would appreciate it really nice detailing down the legs here i love it it's nice ribbed on the side anyway you guys need these leggings <laughs> So I just unwrapped my new Savage Fenty um, order. I want to show you guys what I got because I'm obsessed. So this is not sponsored or anything. I wish it was sponsored. Um, but basically I had a bunch of credits and they came out with this really cool, I definitely think it's very 70s inspired um, print. I absolutely love it. So I got it in this bra. Super, super cute. And then I have it in this. It's like a set, which by the way, all these will be on my OnlyFans, but it's like this really cute cutout set here, and then in the back, it's all the way laced up. Very, very sexy. I love it. That's gonna be very, very cute. And then we have this cute little sparkly set, little mesh action going on here. I love the jewels they have in here. Rihanna just, she just knows how to do it. I don't know what it is. Look at these cute panties, the cute little detail back here if you're into that kind of thing, which I am. I love that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and then we have, this is like a long mesh robe that goes with this stuff. And then we have this cute little cami right here just for sleeping and stuff, chilling in my sweatpants. And then this last little black mesh set. Obviously, if you want to see these on, go to my OnlyFans, but comes with these cute little gloves. I don't know where I'm gonna shoot this yet. I feel like I need to go somewhere and shoot this. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But then this little, it's almost like a skirt. And then again, this is the back. I love how she did that a bunch with these sets. <clears throat> and that's my little lingerie haul. So I absolutely love their stuff. I feel like their stuff is the most unique out of all the lingerie that I've bought and I have a ton of lingerie. So I'm super excited to go try this on, see how it fits. I also bought this little 
sweater from Nordstrom, but I'm waiting for the bottoms. There's matching bottoms that are coming in. Also, it says, love makes the world go round. I just love the orange, or the, it's kind of like an orange, orangey red and purple combo. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you the official before and after of the pool. All right, day one is done. Now you guys can actually like see what I'm talking about when I talk about things. So this is the hot tub. That's the pool, obviously. So basically it'll be, the sun shelf will be right here. Hot tub will float into there. Um, and then I'll have the big stairs that go in. And I'm super excited. This is gonna be our, so in, blah, blah, blah. Hot tub is over here. They just like did all this piping stuff today. So that's a little update for you guys. Oops, I'm tripping over stuff. Um, all right, another pool update for you guys. Um, this is what it's looking like now, like an actual pool. Um, little pool update. Look at all this stuff. So excited. 